Then one of the next things you wanna look at is how easy is this process gonna be to automate? Again, this takes a little bit of some expert experience to really be able to evaluate this, but to break it down as simply as I can, dexterity is one of the biggest challenges when it comes to automation. So if you have a simple square block and you need to pick up this square block and move the square block to another location, super simple, right? There's 100% chance of success, and it's also pretty likely that that system is gonna be a fairly budget system that doesn't have a lot of costs associated with it. And when I say a lot of costs, Majority of systems run somewhere in between $200,000 and $300,000 for like a simple pick and place type of operation. Some of them can even get as low as $150,000, $100,000. And this is with the automation company doing the procurement, right? Or, or you doing the procurement of the items. So I'm including the hardware costs in this as well including also engineering. So the cost that we would give to our customer may be somewhere in the realm of $100,000 and $300,000. The $100,000, $200,000 range is very, very low and most of our projects don't fall in that range, but that would be for like a very simple, pick this block up, set this block down, and you really don't need a lot of other interfacing with that. Now, so if you need things like vision and conveyors, obviously this is gonna start ticking up and adding to the cost of the system. However, don't let this like scare you away because you can do quite a bit with a $200,000, $300,000 budget. There's just some initial cost to every single system that no matter how budget the system is, you have these costs. At least if you want to uh, keep all the hardware, a name brand type of hardware. You can use budget hardware as well and then reduce the cost even more. But let's just say for instance, at your bare minimum cost for like hardware, you're looking at close to $100,000 just for like things like PLCs, robots, control cabinets, the electrical wire engine, like well, not electrical wire and engineering, but just the hardware side of things uh, that may go into the system. You know, you have your robot tooling that you're gonna need to have, robot base plate, so all these things are like the very bare minimum that you can have within a system that creates like the base layer cost of a automation system. So not always is like the highest number of employees the number one thing that you should look for uh, when automating a process. Sometimes it's the simplest process that is the best process to automate. Because the more simple it is, the, the lower cost the system could be, which means the ROI can then come quicker potentially.